guys, my name is Victoria Pavlov. I am the Photoshop artist. Welcome to my studio. Today we will be working on still life painting in Adobe Fresco. Adobe Fresco is a is um, Adobe mobile application for all your painting needs. So guys, let's start. I have opened Adobe Fresco and also I have created my simple document. Of course, guys, you can create your document in any size you like. By default in Fresco, we have two layers. One layer is simple background layer and the second layer is simple uh, empty layer. Now, I will click on um, pixel brushes library and I will click on sketching uh, folder. Here I have my favorite pencil brush. I will click on it. I will adjust a color. I will use a light shade of gray color and using this brush Oh, also, I will um, bring down size of this brush. Using this brush, I will start outlining my pitch. Just like this. Nothing is too complicated, guys. You can use, um, you can start working on your project from scratch, like I'm doing right now. Or, guys, you can um, uh, trace your pitch. Um, nothing is wrong of um, tracing uh, your uh a subject before you will start uh, painting. Uh, it's okay. Um, anything which works for you is great. So don't overthink. Create your art in any ways you like. So this is basic outline of um, my pitch. Now, before I will start applying all colors, I would like to specify shape of uh, my uh, pitch. Um, Using same sketch pencil, I will start applying horizon um, lines inside my peach, just like this. As you can see now, I clearly can see uh, lines um, in my peach. And using same pencil, I will start applying vertical lines, just like that. All these lines will help me to apply uh, shades and um, highlights in the right place. Same here. Just like this. And like this. Now I'm ready to start applying my colors. First of all, guys, I will create a new uh, layer under my sketch layer. To create so, I will click on my background layer and I will click on plus sign and voila, I have created a new empty layer. I will switch to um, live brushes library, I will click on oils and here guys I have uh, one of my favorite uh, uh, live brushes, oil paint short brush. To save your brush uh, to your favorite folder, simply click on this star icon when uh, you will see that your um, brush highlighted with a uh, blue color, that means you add, added this brush into your favorite folder. Now, I will click on um, color icon and I prefer to reposition my um, color uh, wheel as a separate panel. I will click on it and I will reposition it next to my toolbar, just like this. Now I don't need to click every single time on color icon to expand it to choose my color. Here, guys, I will click on first color I would like to use, just like this. I will increase size of my brush and I will start applying my colors. Guys, be careful with your brush strokes. Uh, of course, in digital art, uh, we can uh, change anything later on, but uh, try to apply your brushes along with your lines you just created. Just like this. And guys, uh, by the way, um, you can position your iPad in any way you like. I, I love uh, position of my um, iPad um, on top of my desk. Sometimes um, um, uh, reposition it depends of uh, my painting. And again, guys, everything is up to you. So using this uh, light brush, 
oil brush I will start applying first layer of many colors I will be working with today just like this you can um, increase or decrease size of your brush at any time just like this And I will continue covering entire area with this a base color. Later on, we will apply a lot of different colors. But for now, we are working on a base color. And a little um, horizon, a vertical lines. just like this if you left some area not covered uh, don't worry about it uh, you can um, fix everything later on you can use different colors to cover this area you can blend all colors later on so and now I will add few extra details to my peach covering a back area of my peach using same color same brush just like this now guys i will switch color of my brush i will click on a same yellow color with lighter shade just like this and using this brush i will add a few brush strokes um, in the middle of my peach Um, to apply fresh color to the same layer just a, a click on your brush apply short a brush stroke and release your hand brush stroke release your, your hand brush stroke and release your hand just like I'm doing right now and I will show to you how you can blend these uh, brush strokes just in a second first of all I'm trying to apply fresh um, color to my existing uh, existed uh, layer just like this a few more brush strokes you can increase size of your brush just like this and here now guys I need to blend all these brush strokes I would like to have a, a seamless transition between my colors to blend all colors together I will use same brush same color um, same size of my brush but I will kind of massage my uh, colors I will apply a circle um, a movement just like that and a slightly sli very light pressure of uh, on your pencil just like this look guys can you see it now all my colors blended look at this perfect I'm applying very light circle um, movements all over my peach to blend all colors together like this look at this how beautiful is it now I will bring size of my brush down and I will continue blending my colors at the edge of my um, peach just like this now I will switch color of my brush to um, burgundy color dark burgundy color just like that and I will uh, start applying this color on top of my existing layer and again guys short brush stroke and release your hand Small, a short brush stroke and release your hand also I will recommend you to increase size of your brush if you're working with the largest um, large area just like this and guys remember try to follow your sketch lines yes we will we will blend all colors um, later on but still guys it's important to follow original subject uh, line flow just like this 
I will bring size of my brush down and I will start working close to the edges of my peach, just like this. You can switch between uh, larger, uh, biggest, uh, bigger and smaller size uh, sizes of your brush at any time. Just like this. And at this edge of my um, peach. Perfect. Few more brush strokes. Just like this, guys. Brush stroke and release your hand. Brush stroke and release your hand. It's important. Now, I will change color of my brush to red. And using same brush, I will apply a few brush strokes using this beautiful red color. Just like this, guys. Follow your peach uh, line flow. It's important. And this part, and now using same brush with light pressure, I will apply circle um, uh, movement just like this, and I will blend all colors together. Look at this. Try not to apply um, full force on your uh, pencil. Try to enjoy your creation. And again, guys, um, you can fix anything at any time. Uh, first rule is to enjoy your uh, workflow, to enjoy your painting. If you will enjoy your art, you will create something special. I can guarantee. So using same brush, applying circle uh, movements, um, um, Blending all colors together. How simple is it, guys? Just like this. Now, I will change color of my brush to almost white. Between white and yellow, just like this, I will bring size of my brush down and I will apply few brush strokes at the edge of my front side of my peach, just like this. Look at this. Using same brush, I will add a few more white uh, splashes along with my peach, just like this. And here as well. And maybe around here. And remember guys, short brush stroke and release your hand. Short brush stroke and release your hand. Now I will increase size of my brush and using this brush I will blend all colors together. Yes, we are blending all colors using same brush with very light um, pressure on our pencil. Guys, be creative. Each brush strokes is your vision. Each brush strokes brush stroke is your soul. So be creative. And again, no rules in here. You can create your art in any style you like. Everything is up to you. It's your creation, it's your soul, it's your vision. And um, use as many layers as you like. All layers will create depth of field. It will, you'll create um, your um, subject in perfect dimension. Example, um, what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to uh, create 3D uh, kind of illusion of my peach. Because in real life, we don't have 2D objects. We have all 3D objects. 
and all layers I will be using will help me. Just like this. And look how beautiful our peach is already. Now, I will bring size of my brush down and I will fix all um, colors at the edge of my peach. Now, I will create a new empty layer. I will switch back to burgundy color. I will increase size of my brush and using this brush, I will add a few brush strokes in here, just like this. And around here as well. Switch between a big, um, small and a, a bigger uh, size of your brush. Working at the edge of your brush, uh, try to use smaller size of your brush just like this. And I will increase size of my brush and I will continue applying this color to my peach. Perfect. And a little bit more over here and here as well, just like this. And the best part working with all layers is that I can bring down opacity of my layer at any time. If I will click on um, layer properties icon, I will be able to bring down opacity of my layer just like this. Using same layer, I will add a few brush strokes of a red color to my peach. Just like this, guys. Nothing is too complicated. Again, guys, try don't force your um, pencil so much. Try to apply short and light brush strokes, just like that. Like in real traditional painting, guys, you are not forcing, you are not pressing your pencil or brush all the way to the paper because you can uh, um, damage your paper. Same here, same principle. Try to apply short brush strokes. Now I will change to white color and I will add a few brush strokes of a white color to my peach. Splashes of highlights. Just like this. Now I will merge my two layers together. I will click on three dots icon and I will click merge down. Now I have three layers. So one layer is my background layer, white layer. Second layer is my peach uh, layer and third layer is my sketch layer. Now I can um, hide the visibility of my sketch layer. I will click on sketch layer and I will click on eye icon. And now I cannot see this um, sketch layer. It's uh, hidden. Now I will click back on my... Um, Peach layer and using same brush with bigger size, I, I will apply circle uh, movement of my brush to blend all colors together. You can increase size of your brush to maximum. And voila, look at this. How beautiful is it? And again, guys, you can create your your um, art in any style. You can create a more realistic looking uh, peach. You can create uh, your peach uh, using abstract art. You can create uh, your peach in impressionist uh, style. Uh, guys, everything is up to you. And again, no rules in here. It's your art, it's your imagination. So using same brush, I'm trying to smooth out all uh, colors. I'm trying to make a very nice and smooth transition between uh, colors. If you would like to leave all your brush strokes more visible, feel free to do it. So what I will do now, guys, I will blend this part a little bit more, just like that. I will switch to 
uh, burgundy color. I will create new empty layer. I will bring size of my brush down. In using this brush, I will add a few brush strokes at the edge of my peach here. Just like this. And remember guys, short brush stroke and release your hand. Switching back to red color will help me to add another layer of a color to this um, side of my peach. And now, again, because we are working with uh, layers, I can bring down opacity of this uh, layer. Now, I will switch to white color and I will add splash of highlights at this side of my peach, just like this. Maybe something like this. Now, I will merge all my colors, uh, color layers together merge down and using a brush with yellow color I will blend all colors together you can increase or decrease the size of your brush everything is up to you just like this it's very simple guys just like this I will increase size of my brush and I will continue blend my colors. I'm happy with all colors, how I blended them. If I will need, I can add um, a few brush strokes later on. Maybe now. And voila. What I will do now, guys, now I will switch to white color. I will create a new empty layer. I will bring size of my brush down and I will add a few more highlights. Highlights are important, as, in, as important, important as uh, shadows. Do not forget about all shadows and all highlights. They are super important. I will bring size of my uh, um, opacity of uh, my brush on my I'm sorry, I will bring opacity of my layer down. I will bring size of my brush down and I will add a few highlights at the edge of, um, at the bottom edge of my peach, just like this. Beautiful. I love peaches. Now, I will create a new empty layer. Using same brush, I will add a few more highlights. Using a um, smaller size of the same brush. And I will bring down opacity of this layer as well. Now, I will increase size of my brush and I will add a few highlights in here. And around the bottom edge of my peach on top of my peach perfect 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 I love it and maybe around here as well now I will switch color of my brush to dark burgundy I will use same color but with darker shade a little bit I will add few dots inside of my peach. If I will bring size of my brush down, it will help me to add a few splashes of same color in here, just like this. If you made any mistake, simply undo it and do it again. Now, I will merge all my colors layers together, merge down, merge down and using a um, red color with bigger size maybe i will click on a flow icon and i will bring um, a brush flow down to 63 and now using this brush with bigger size i will blend all colors together again just like this you can switch between um, smaller and bigger size of your brush depends 
of the area you are working on, close to the edges of your uh, subject, um, you should bring a size of your brush down. Just like this. If you need, you can switch a color of your brush at any time, even in uh, when you're blending colors. I will switch color of my brush to white and I will blend colors over here. Same here, small circles. Did you notice guys, I'm switching between bigger and si uh, smaller size of my brush all the time? around here just like this as I said before you can fix anything at any time so don't stress out about oh I painted out outside of my uh, subject or oh, I messed up some colors you can fix anything at any time now I will switch back to my burgundy color I will increase size of my brush and um, I will click on plus sign to create a new layer and I will add a few splashes of burgundy color one more time just like this yes guys layer by layer will build your subject Layers are important. Layers are our friends. Can you use one layer? Definitely you can, but why? Make your life easier. Using red color, I will add a few more red splashes around here. Just like this. and around here now i will bring opacity of this layer down i will merge all um colored uh, layers together and i will blend all colors right now yes uh, the principle is applying fresh um, colors if you need uh, bring down opacity of your layer using same brush blend all colors together you can do it as many times, you can repeat it as many times as you need. And again, no rules in here. It's your creation, it's your art. So now basically I'm blending all colors together. All colors I applied previously to my peach. Just like this. If you would like to apply splash of fresh color, simply release your hand and apply brush stroke and um, release your hand again. And you will apply flash spray, fl uh, flash, uh, a fresh splash of um, red color or any other color you use just like this it's beautiful i love still lives perfect now i will bring size of my brush down i will increase flow to 100 percent and I will add a few brush strokes um, at the middle of my peach, just like that, to smooth out this um, burgundy, dark burgundy color. If I will switch color of my brush to white, it will help me to add a few splashes of fresh highlights. I will increase size of my brush just like this and again guys nothing is too complicated 
Now I will switch to yellow color and using same brush I will add few splashes of fresh yellow color to my peach. And while I'm applying um, fresh uh, um, brush strokes of yellow color, I'm smoothing all colors together. together. So I'm making smooth transition between all my colors. Just like this. And again, guys, the key is short brush stroke and release your hand. A short brush stroke and release your hand. Continue working on your um, page, enjoying your creation. I will increase size of my brush and I will add a few splashes of yellow color over here. And uh, right away I will blend all the colors. Just like this. Circle movement definitely helps to apply to, um, to apply um, to create smooth uh, transition between your colors, just like this. And guys, a light, a light pressure on your uh, pencil, just like this. Beautiful peach. I'm located in Atlanta. Atlanta is peach uh, state. <laughs> Now, I will blend all colors at this side of my peach, just like that. And I'm ready to add a few splashes of um, shadows. I will switch to dark burgundy color. I will bring size of my brush down and I will add a few splashes of this color at the middle of my peach. And while I'm applying this color, I'm trying to um, blend all colors together using a light, guys, a light uh, pressure on my pencil. Just like this. Now, I will create new empty layer. I will switch uh, um, to light yellow color, maybe a few shades lighter. I will increase size of my brush and I will add a few highlights close to top edge of my peach, just like that. Now I will bring opacity of this layer down, just like this beautiful, and I will add a few highlights over here. Perfect, perfect, perfect. In get guys, if you made any mistake if you think think you made any mistake don't be frustrated simply undo it now i will merge my color layers together using same brush i will blend my highlights slightly guys very light pressure on your pencil will help you Just like this and over here as well. Perfect. I love these highlights. I love highlights. Highlights uh, uh, help to bring your subject to life. Just like this. Now, I will create new empty layer. I will use white color. I will bring size of my brush down and I will add a few highlights along with, with my um, peach, just like this. And around here. And around here as well. Just like this, guys. Look at this. And maybe around here. Let's see. Yes, definitely yes. Now, let's see if I will bring down opacity of this layer. Will help. 
just slightly guys yes around about 73 i will merge all my layers together all my colored layers and using same brush with bigger size i will blend my highlights i'm blending ages of my highlights just like this ages guys just like this again close to the edges of your peach bring size of your brush down and around here as well perfect now let's start working on our background i will highlight my background layer i will create new empty layer i will switch to a light shade of gray color I will increase size of my brush. I will zoom out my document for better preview and I will create my background just like that. See guys, that's why I'm always saying use your layers. Now we are working on our background layer without uh, messing up our peach. Just like this. Perfect. I love it. Now, how about all our, our shadows? I will create new empty layer. I will use a light shade of blue color. We need some cold colors in our shadows, just like that. And using new layer with same brush with light shade of blue color, I will create first layer of my highlights of my uh, shadows. I'm sorry just like this look at this using same brush i will switch to yellow color and i will add a few splashes of yellow color to my shadows guys and remember again a short brush stroke and release your hand short brush stroke and release your hand if you want to blend colors together you'll, you'll use circle circle a movement just like that you will blend all your colors together and maybe few more uh, splashes of yellow color around here and i will blend all colors together now perfect now i will bring opacity of my uh, shadow layer down i will merge my background layers together and I will blend edges of my shadow. Just like that. I can increase size of my brush and just like this. I will switch to um, gray color and I will blend edges of my shadow. Just like this. Now guys, we need to remember that the shadow which is the shadow part which is close to our subject to supposed to be a darker i will create new empty layer i will switch to dark uh, uh, gray color i will bring size of my brush down and i will add a little bit more shadow under my peach I will bring opacity of this layer down, just like this, and I will add a little bit more shadow. Now I will create new empty layer using same brush with same color. I will add a few darker um, splashes of gray color directly under my peach, just like this. Now I will merge all my uh, background layers together. using a color um, same color as uh, same same brush with same color i will blend my shadow you can make your brush smaller or bigger again it's up to you and using light pressure light pressure on my pencil i will blend all colors together just like this beautiful
beautiful. Now, guys, we need to fix our pitch. We have kind of a rough edges. I will highlight my pitch. I will switch to my um, eraser tool with smaller size and I will erase not perfect areas in my pitch, just like this. And again, guys, nothing is too complicated. If you will use a short brush strokes, you will have less accidents. You can increase size of your um, eraser tool if you need. Perfect. Now I love edges of my peach. Uh, I will highlight my uh, background layer, original background layer, white background layer. I will create new empty layer. I will switch back to my um, uh, uh, oil brush. I will switch color of my brush to yellow. I will increase size to maximum and I will apply um, another layer of this beautiful color to my background, just like this. And again, guys, we are working with all layers. Layers make our life much, much easier and our painting workflow more enjoyable without any stress. So this is my uh, background layer. I can um, increase, I can change color of my brush to bright yellow, just like this. And I will add a few splashes of this color around here. And again, guys, remember, if you would like to apply fresh uh, splash of a color, just release your hand. Brush stroke and release your hand. Brush stroke and release your hand. Just like this. Brush stroke and I will release my hand. Brush stroke, release my hand. Just like this. And now I will blend two colors together. I will use same brush with circle movement. I will blend all colors together. And again, guys, take your time. Don't rush. You can blend less or more colors together. Again, I'm repeating myself, but it's important. Everything is up to you. It's your creation. It's your art. So, this is our background. And now I will blend everything together. Don't try to fix everything in one time. You, uh, you need some time, guys. Uh, take your time. Enjoy your creation. Each brush strokes creates your story. Tells your story. Be more creative. Take your time. Don't rush. Now I'm happy with my background. What I will do now, guys, I will merge all layers together, except my background, white background layer. And uh, no, you know, I will merge all layers together except my sketch layer. So I will highlight my top layer, my peachy layer, and I will merge down all layers just like this. And I will delete my sketch layer. I will click on sketch layer and I will click delete layer. Now I have only one layer, my pitch layer. To be in a safe mode, guys, I will recommend you to copy, to duplicate this layer. Simply duplicate layer, hide your original layer, highlight your top layer, your copy layer, and bring size of your brush down and now you can blend all the colors. Just like that, to create seamless transition between your uh, main subject and your uh, background. 
just like this guys and remember slight um, pressure on your brush on your uh, pencil just like this very very a uh, light pressure on your uh, pencil Now we have seamless transition, transition between our subject and our background. If you would like, you can fix um, colors inside of your peach. You can use same brush and blend all colors together. Increase size of your brush if you need it. And just blend, just like this. And voila. What I would like to do right now, guys, um, I will create new empty layer. I will use a um, um, middle shade of gray color. I will bring size of my brush down and I will add a few brush strokes to my peach using a gray color. I will bring size uh, opacity of my layer down just like this and I will continue applying this uh, color to my peach using a light, light pressure on my pencil. Light pressure is the key guys, remember that. I will bring opacity of this layer down more and I will add few splashes of light gray color at the bottom of my peach. Just like this. Look at this guys. Now I will create new empty layer. I will bring opacity of this layer down about 64 for now and I will add a few splashes of gray color at the bottom of my peach. And let's see if I need to bring down opacity of this layer more, just like this, right? And I will add a few splashes of this color around here. Perfect. Using an um, eraser tool, I will erase this part of my layer. Perfect. Now I will merge all my layers together. And using same brush with same color, I will blend my new um, freshly applied color just slightly. Maybe I will switch to yellow color. I will increase size of my brush. Yes, just like that. And look at this. Beautiful light pressure on your pencil perfect now guys i will create a new empty layer i will switch to white color i will bring size of my brush down and i will add a few splashes of highlights around here also here and around here and I will bring down opacity of this layer. Perfect. And I will merge these two layers together. Now, if I will need, I will blend my highlights just slightly, edges of my highlights. Yes, just like this. Now, I will create new empty layer. I will switch to, let's see, what brush I will use. Um, let's click on watercolor. Yes, I will click on watercolor wet spatter brush. I will use light shade of yellow color with smaller size of my brush. I will add a few splashes of spatter to my uh, peach. Just like this. Look at this, guys. And definitely I can bring down opacity of this layer. Also, I can try to change blend a mode for this layer. Let's see. 
I love color dodge and also I will bring down opacity of this layer to uh, Torium. I will create new empty layer. I will change the color of my brush to dark burgundy color using same brush with smaller size. I will add a few splashes of this color just like this and yes I will bring down opacity of my layer so guys basically this is what I wanted to share with you today now if you would like to share your project you can share your project in any way you like first of all you can uh, click on share button just like this uh, you can uh, use quick export and you can uh, export your uh, file airdrop or something like that you can click on publish and export and you can export your um, uh, project as psd uh, png uh, pdf or jpeg file it's up to you but also guys you can export your time lapse yes fresco records your uh, time, time lapse click on time lapse preview look at this guys how awesome was it you can click export and you will be able to export your painting so guys this is what i wanted to share with you today please create something paint something in um fresco share your creation on twitter and tag me uh, in your creation i really would like to see what you will create after this tutorial i cannot wait to see it so guys let's do it thank you so much for all your support thank you so much for being with me super appreciated if you have any questions just ask i'm here for you guys thank you so much and i will see you later bye